So we are in Las Vegas, Nevada with Tyler Jones, who is the CEO and founder of Blue Heron Homes. Did I get that right? That's right. And we're going to show you the most expensive house to have ever sold in Las Vegas. Ready to show us? Let's do it. Okay. So we start here, we've got this portico, which is kind of a sensory reset. We want you to kind of understand this is a whole controlled environment here. Every little detail you're gonna see is put together by our design team. We do the architecture, interior design, the construction, the furnishings. So every detail about this is for a reason. And as you move through, it becomes very deliberate what we want you to see. This is spectacular. Check this out, Adam. Look at this. And this is just the walkway to the front door. Yes, yeah, so you'll see that the water is a big important element of the home. And just tell us, so this house is 15,000 square feet? 15,000 air conditioned living space, that's right. It's a little windy today, but you get the sound of the water as you come through. Check this out, you don't want to come here drunk at night. This is wild. Stepping stones. Imagine coming late at night after having a couple of beers. Yep. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be in the water. I would. Is this heated, Tyler? This is not heated, okay. but this <laughs> so it would wake you up. Great place to start. We'll take you into the office here to show you how the, the tour begins. So um, a lot of our wealthy clients like to have their home office at the front of the house. So you can have a business guest, you bring somebody in, do your business. You don't have to bring them all the way through the private parts of the house. So take a seat here, Michael, and you can take a look at what this view feels like. Oh, that is just stunning. Adam, you gotta come and sit where I'm sitting. Yeah? You'll see why. <laughs> I think I already know. This is stunning. Swap places with you. All right, ready? One, yes. two, three. Okay. All right, I get it. Is that unbelievable or I what? get it. That is the Las Vegas Strip from your desk. Crazy. As you come here to the front door, your eyes drawn straight to the Las Vegas Strip. This is our ocean here in Las Vegas. This is beautiful. Truly stunning. I don't think we've ever walked into a home and seen anything quite like that. You still feel like you're outside, even though you're inside. I'm a huge fan of all of these plants in, like inside the house. Yeah, we can come over this way to the main living space, the great room. And as you pointed out, the, the plants kind of come right through. This is a concept that we call biophilic design. What does biophilic mean? So this is all about, it's a study about how your, your mind and your brain and, and the human body interprets nature and your, your natural environment. So when we bring the plants through, the water, the fire elements, the vantage point itself, everything's kind of built into your mentality as a human to, to feel safe. And um, it's the same reason that you feel good when you go on a hike in the middle of nature. Good, I never thought of it, but it makes a lot of sense. This is superb. Feels like your pool is in the living room. Well, it is. This is kind of, you're surrounded by water here. You get the beautiful view of the city. We've got an excellent mountain view up here. And then we've got everything, all the comforts of home. Um, our team does all the furniture and interior design. Everything is done by one cohesive team. Literally surrounded by water and fire. <laughs> you see this, Adam? I do see that. That wow. would make for a hot swim. Yes, it would. <laughs> You'd be careful when you're swimming in this pool. Fantastic. It's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Big open living, living uh, kitchen, great room set up. This is kind of the way everybody wants is the open floor plan and kind of a very casual living space. It looks very minimalist, but yet very functional, right? That's right, exactly. And there's more functional sides. There's more of utility side behind the scenes there. There's a prep kitchen and this is your kind of main show kitchen here. So as we move through, this is going to be the formal dining. Gorgeous. I love the light. Yes, so all the little details coordinated by the team. This is all also uh, automated pocket doors here. So when you're seated, your, your guests want to come over for dinner, you get the incredible view of the city. Pretty much from every room. Pretty much every room, that's right. Get the wine display behind you here, Adam, too. So, you know, part of the dining, you've got your wine cellar here, temperature control, of course. You can serve from the back side. There's a prep kitchen there if you have caterers. I love how every room you're in, there's just nature and green. And it truly does make such a huge difference to how the space feels. Yeah, it does. It's very seamless is the word that we're always shooting for. So 
You got the doors opening up here. So these are probably some of the largest pocket doors you're going to find definitely anywhere in Las Vegas. I'm not sure where else you're going to find a, an opening bigger than this, but it's that great indoor outdoor connection and it, it really makes the homes it just such a unique feeling. Really so basically in a, in a normal home, you'd have walls with windows and doors in it. This is all glass and retracting glass at that. I mean, even down here, you've even planted down between the pool it's, I, I, I am in love. So I am in love. Are these two individual pools and a third pool behind it? Or how, yes, how is it? there's really three pools. You could swim in this one also. The pool at the back is, is the one that's set up most convenient for actually swimming. But if you wanted to, you could take a dip in any one of these pools. Stunning. <laughs> Lost for words. Unbelievable. And am I right also in saying that these pools help with humidity because it's so dry out here? It also helps with the environment, the way that the air is. That's right. Yeah, in the you know on a nice warm day, not on a, an ultra hot day, but you're going to get a humidification effect. So there's kind of a cross ventilation strategy where we're kind of wicking some cool air across the the pools, picking up a little humidity, and it helps to cool down the home. I'm in love. But all the big homes have the, the home theater. Those are nice rooms, but um, we always like to be a little bit more uh, multifunctional. So to, for us, this is a more fun way and a more, more engaging way to do your home theater system. Then you can still have the parties and you get the view and it's a little bit more open and truly fabulous. Michael, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do? Buy the house. Well, that, but also go show okay, us how big I it is. Okay, I have to show everybody how big that screen is. So is this projection? No, that's an LED screen, so. How big that, is that? I think it's 13 feet. Uh, it's humongous. Recorded and it's so bright. So bright. Yes. You could watch that in brilliant sunlight, right? Yeah. You can. And if you look behind you, Adam, so you could actually be sitting across in the great room. That's an 85 inch television over there. It looks tiny from here just because these spaces are so big. But you could sit in the, in the great room and look across the water and watch the movie on this side. So pretty great spot. We just had Super Bowl. So it's a perfect for <laughs> you know, sports or movies or you know, just everyday use, it works great. I'm gonna plant plants around the corners of my entire house after, <laughs> after this. I love it. Look at this, Michael. I know. You sit here, you watch the UFC, and someone is like, here's Serving another you beer, your beer, sir. Here's another beer, sir. A tequila shot, sir. <laughs> We've got the iconic staircase cantilevered out with the, the big, huge piece of steel. Um, we'll go up that way and show you what it feels like up there. And then you get your great mountain view as well. So as the lights come, come up in the city, as the, it gets darker, it becomes more about the city view. But this time of day, you get this great sunset mountain view as well. Sick. That's all I need is sick. So this is nice. We're temperature control in here. We've got heaters. There's misters in here for the summertime and really neat little shaded covered environment. Um, doesn't matter if you're looking out at the city or looking back into the home. It's kind of beautiful both directions. Um, this is probably one of my favorite seats, Michael, if you want to try this out. Uh, I think this is really a testament to our design team to get everything perfect, nothing by accident. So You're looking over the ocean here, Adam. Yep. It, it really is quite special. We have never toured a house with this much attention to detail and execution. Because it's one thing to try something and not be able to execute. Yeah, no, it takes it takes a lot. It's a it's a passionate. You gotta have a love for this because even it's not to think easy. of that, that you literally sit there and you're looking over the water and there's the strip, as if the strip is perched on the water. Yep, exactly. Fabulous. You got another little fire area here, outdoor t TV. So this is another great moment if you want to spend some time outside and stay warm. Roast your marshmallows. Uh, yep. Watch the game out here. Favorite TV show. So this kind of connects around. Um, I think we're gonna walk back through the house this way and then we'll go see the primary bedroom, which is on the other side. Perfect. I want to have a quick peek at the kitchen because yeah. We walked by it like it was nothing, but it's spectacular. All the, the refrigerators are behind those mirrored panels there. There's a little panel here, so you can close this off and you can have, you can have catering back here and you can have a big mess going on and not have to interrupt your, the flow of your guests out in the main area. Look at that view, Michael. I know. 
So we take a lot of special care to kind of distinguish the, the private side from the public side. So coming across here, now you're transitioning to the, uh, the primary bedroom, which is going to be all private. Nice little transitional space here. Look at this, how you walk into this. This material here is something that we designed um, specifically and custom for this project. This is a hand troweled stucco. Worked together with our subcontractors to get this look and kind of becomes a, an important Just element. Just done. Yes, yeah, every little, every little wave is done by hand. So we're in the primary now. So this is the private side of the big canyon where we walked in. This is the bed down here. Adam, we've seen houses and we've seen houses, but this... We've not seen this. This is special, truly special. And oftentimes I've walked into houses and said, this is incredible. This is incredible. I mean, this is yeah. really incredible. Look at that, you're laying in bed, looking over the ocean. <laughs> There's a, a television in here. Everyone's seen the pop-up TV, but this is depressed into the foundation of the home. See a little retreat up here. Um, great little outdoor area here, private uh, master retreat. Um, the view, and then of course, you've got your big, huge shower. I know, I saw. Outdoor bathtub. I know. Oh my God. Got the rain heads bathtub. and the body sprayers and everything else. Have you seen the and shower, Michael? <laughs> that is wild. You ever seen a shower like that? Never. So are we indoors or outdoors? We're indoors. You're indoors, just barely. And then this is the outdoor, um, outdoor experience. So there's showers out there and another bathtub out there. What's happening? Look yeah, at this. So if you stand there, that's where you'd be brushing your teeth, doing your shaving. You don't want to be interrupted. So if you want the full view. <laughs> You are this kidding. This is crazy. You are kidding. This and the glasses hidden away, pocketed on both sides. Yes. This is one of my favorite little spots here. So, you know, it's, it's, you're still going to maintain that visual straight to the strip, but you're going to be totally private. House next door, you're never going to feel it. There's no privacy concerns, and you can have your, your private master suite over here. I want totally to take protected. a bath right there. Yeah, I, I, I love this house. Oh, and the sh I just noticed the two uh, shower heads up there. Crazy. Unreal. This is so well thought about. I mean, it's not, it's not just it's not just clever, it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. I can't get over all of the plants. I'm gonna sound like a stuck record, but that is what absolutely makes this space come together. Mm -hmm. Because if you were to tell someone, you know, a home with hand troweled stucco, you know, looks like concrete in the desert, you think stark, you think cold. And it's just not in any way, shape or form. Everything we do is modern and a lot of people get this idea that modern is gonna be this museum, the white, the heavy contrast. So if you bring in the organic materials, use the plants, the biophilic design, all of a sudden modern can be very comfortable, very inviting and yeah. very approachable. So that's if what it's we're done looking right. for. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this is certainly done right. It's genius, What's absolute, through there? absolute genius. Through here, we a toilet. You get your wi -Fi you? Oh my goodness. One way glass on that side, you cannot see in from the outdoors, but no you get your nice way. view. And what's through, oh, there you go, and more view. <laughs> no way, that's awesome. This is gonna be the primary closet up here. We elevated this. Closets become very custom, so we like to, these become very personal spaces. Some people have the watches, or the shoes, or the bags, or the coats, so this is always a very personal. And some people thing. have all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of our clients have all those things, so. Well, you certainly made room for them. Yeah, absolutely. I could live with this closet. I could live in this closet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's gonna be the second floor now. So this, this area here is kind of part of the entertainment space. There's a loft here connected to the great room downstairs and the, the water. And again, you get a really great vantage point on the view from up here. You feel like you're outside. I mean, it's, this is like a resort. <laughs> we hear that a lot. I think that's a good thing. We want you to feel special and you know, we want the home to speak to you when you live here and, and you want to set it up to where you, you just never want to leave, you know, whether it's just- You would never house. want to leave. No. Nope. I mean, so this is one of the three bedrooms. This will be a guest bedroom. Pretty simple room, but um, we get a lot of compliments on this room. Just very um, 
I think thoughtfully designed with the furniture. This is all stucco that's coming from the outside. This is a burnished stucco material, um, custom for this house as well. And it just kind of gives it that seamless indoor outdoor feeling. And once again, the spectacular view, incredible. And all the bathrooms are set up. So if you come around, it's kind of, um, it really is kind of like a resort feeling where, um, you know, whether you're in the shower or you're using the sinks, you're going to have that unobstructed city view. Look at the shower. Huh. And you're outside here. Well, and there's an outside here. shower. Of course, cool. wouldn't there be? A private little space for there's your guests. Little touch, the little red oh, yeah. flash reflector. Oh, look how pretty it looks outside now. I think touring a house will never be the same again. I agree. <laughs> Mike, Seriously. Come, come here, look at this now. Beautiful little deck, kind of private, you know, so you have your own little zone here on the second floor if somebody's staying in this extra bedroom up here and they've got the city view and their own little quiet outdoor space. Unreal. <laughs> Get out of here. That is unreal. And then did you see this above you? Yeah. Matches the circular fire pit. Do you know what I love is the small details, like I noticed that the roof out here is just slightly on an angle, just slightly. And same thing, like there's just so many leading, beautiful leading lines. Yeah, great observation, Adam. When we come back out here, you can kind of see it. There's the whole back of this house is it's an inverted butterfly. So um, it kind of goes to the middle. Um, you see it. Yeah. You can kind of see it from here. But the, yeah, all, all of the, the forms on the outside carry straight through. It's a little bit subtle, not everybody picks that up right away, but um, those, are, uh, those are the little details that matter. So we can walk out here and show you what this little pathway is all about. So this is kind of a, a moment here, just to invite you to come all the way out to the edge here. Is it inviting you to go all the way to the edge, Michael? Yeah, yeah I, I can do this because <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Titanic about to jump over. You look like it, Jack. It wow. really is your Titanic moment right there, and be, a lot of selfies taken here when we have parties at the house. This I'm seems, sure. seems to be where everybody gravitates towards. If you turn the camera back towards the house, Adam, you really see those angles. I'll trade with you. Yeah, you get a good idea of that inverted butterfly form, and then um, we'll talk about what these do for us architecturally when we go into the room next door here. There's a purpose for them other than the aesthetic. So we'll come back around to the other side now. So one guest gets this whole wing, and then on the other side, this is kind of the junior this suite. This is, sorry to interrupt, but even this is just cool. Yeah, it's very inviting, isn't it? Very inviting. It's a good like example. A cozy area. This is actually the structure of the home right here. This is not a decorative steel column that's actually holding up the whole home. So we're integrating the furniture with the actual structure of the home. Downstairs, you can see the pools and the foundation. I and mean, this is very technical work. It takes a lot of expertise to bring all these things together the way we do. I can imagine. How many people are on the team putting together a house like this? Um, this is, there's probably 25 people from, just from our company that would um, handle a house like at this scale, this level, um, then all of our subcontractors and the engineers and all the rest of the people that work for the extended team. Ooh. So I don't this know is if kind I of a transition to into the sky suite over here. So. The glass floor. It's you got it, mate. I believe okay. in you. Okay. Spooks me. <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah, you got to have a little edge to some of these things. Right, well, we're in Vegas. That's right. This is the suite upstairs. So this is another guest suite. This one connects to the, the deck over here and the cantilevered staircase and back to the, the loft we just came from. But integrated furnishings here with the bed and everything else. We'll go out on this little deck. There's an outdoor bed here. Of course. Of course there is. So I mentioned the, uh, these architectural forms have a purpose as well. So here in the desert, we're always worried about heat gain. So as you saw, the sun is setting over here in the west. In the middle of summertime, the sun sets a little bit further to the north. And this architectural shroud is here to shield all the glass from that direct heat gain. Sure. So it looks beautiful. It's part of the aesthetic, but it's also very functional. Now we've cut this little element out so you get this great little mountain view here at eye level. So I spotted that from over there and I was gonna say what goes into designing something like just a little cutout and yeah, there it is, there's the answer. Exactly, so. Before we go to the bathroom, there's rain head showers out. Oh, there is. You stood under one, can I switch it on? <laughs> Look at this tub. 
Yeah, so this is, uh, so even on the second floor, we're trying to make it feel like you're outside and, you know, kind of bring the, the natural elements through and make you feel like you're connected to the view at all stages. Beautiful. There's another closet through there. It's not a huge closet. It's for the guest element. <laughs> I mean, we've definitely seen houses with smaller. This is a great vantage point as well. This is back into the uh, Ooh, entry look space. At that. It's now starting to get dark outside, so you can kind of see the lighting effects, and we'll see things really come to life as we That's move through. Superb. It's amazing. Yeah, it really is amazing. All I want to do is sit here with a glass of red wine and just and, watch and never the leave, right? Yeah. That's the idea. Never want to, never want to leave. You know, th this house is so welcoming. You feel good. Everything is just pure detail. We talked earlier about the the passive cooling effect with the humidification and wicking the water across the the. Uh, or the air across the water. This is a heat chimney here. So these, these windows here are automated. So on a hot day, all the warm air is going to come rise up to the third floor and it's going to escape out of these windows here to keep the house cool. You do feel the temperature difference. You here really do. To you really do. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. So this is our nightclub. So Las Vegas, you got to have a nightclub on the third floor. <laughs> of course you do. Hi. fun. Hi. Sabine's up here waiting for us. We it's are great. so in love with this property. Yes. It, it's crazy, yes. crazy. Can I tell the world a little secret? Yes, you can. <laughs> this is Sabine. I have known Sabine for nine, ten years, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Sabine was in charge of all the Rolls Royce VIP events. That's right. And I've attended many of them and each and every one was magnificent and I was absolutely shocked to find out that Sabine is now here with Blue Heron and I'm also shocked but delighted and it's great to to see you again and wow you couldn't have picked a better company because words fail me this house is just spectacular spectacular and the passion your passion about your property it, you don't just build homes you build experiences and you know that's something we, we just don't see you do. It's a lot of fun. It's great to have you guys over to experience it with us and show you off all the great elements. So, Do I see Bailey's? A little drink? I, yes. <laughs> she remembers. A little drink? Excellent. Michael, you devil you. I'm in Vegas. <laughs> Thank so you. Can you Thank tell you. everybody your dirty little secret about what happens when me and you come to Vegas? The drinking one, not the other one. You're horrible. So I <laughs> normally don't drink very rarely do I drink. This guy here insists on trying to get me drunk and he knows that two of these will do it. So every time we come here, he wanders off somewhere and comes back, Michael, got your drink. And it's a Bailey's and of course, I love the taste of them, I drink them and there we are. So that's our secret. So people think that you don't drink, but actually when we come to Vegas, Cheers guys. It's a Bailey's. Cheers everybody. Cheers, Thank all right. Thank you for having us. This Cheers. magnificent, Oasis. Thank you very Alice. much. Call it what you will. You. Just a spectacular residence. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Look at you with your beer. Cheers. 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 Cheers, sir. Congratulations. Amazing I have an job. An announcement to make. It is right now, I don't know what time it is, 5 30, and he's not drunk yet, which is a miracle in itself in Las Vegas. It, it's a miracle at home, let alone in Vegas. That's true, also. I didn't want to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about getting blood in his alcohol stream. <laughs> <laughs> the house is amazing, absolutely amazing. We'll take you outside and show you the view here. This is the kind of the, the final, final view. A lot of those are more controlled, focused. This is where we bring you all the way up to the very top here, and then we're going to kind of reveal the, the entire 360 view of the city. Not worried about privacy anymore. A um, little more exposed, but you get to see the entire landscape from up here. Wow. A couple levels. We got the outdoor bed here, fire element. Brought the plants up to the roof. We didn't want to leave that behind. It's just unbelievable. So we're up here at McDonald Highlands, but this part of town's incredible because you get the, the mountain view, you get the city view. Um, you're elevated above everything else. It's just, it's really hard to beat. I'm in love. Absolutely in love. And can't thank you enough. This has been amazing. Amazing.
Thank you very much. Tyler. Great, great to have you guys. We'll Appreciate put all it. your info in the yeah, description of this, of this video. Guys, if you want a magnificent house in Las Vegas or pretty much anywhere, right? Yes. This is your guy. Tyler, <laughs> CEO and founder of Blue Heron Homes. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Nearly oh, said. he's not a little Baileys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. We're in it to win it. Bye. Right here, we got the, the mirror, kind of brings you oh, look into at that. the city view. So, I don't know if you guys, oh, there there's go. a way to edit that in there. <laughs> you might sure a little selfie. Yeah. You know what else we didn't see? What? The, the chimney toilet. We didn't. We didn't, we didn't see the bathroom with the oh, 30 we foot did not. ceiling. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. How can we edit that in? So I was just walking around shooting some B-roll of the house before we leave, and I noticed that we didn't go into this door. So, I opened it. A, look how cool that door is, 90 degrees, and B, check this out. So not only do you have a blue toilet, and not only do you have a blue sink, but you also have a 50 foot ceiling that goes to a tiny little skylight that you probably can't even see. And I think I'm locked in here. This is about to be the coolest toilet I've ever had a wee in. But then, how do you wash your hands? There's no tap. Look, it's just a mirror, no tap. But wait, there's this one here. <laughs> so you wash your hands back there. How cool is that? As if this bathroom couldn't have got any cooler, I just found this switch panel. So we've got door lock and unlock. So it's an electric door unlock. But look at this, skylight accent. Hit that. <laughs> it's like I'm weeing in Tron. This is so crazy. My mind is blind. I can't take it anymore. How do I get out? Let me out. All right, the end. Bye.